Do you want to learn how to create scripts without thought key to automate tasks such as form filling, auto clicking, macros, and much more? If so, so stay here because this tutorial is for you. Hello, if you're new here, I'm Marcelo, and on this tutorial we will learn about thought thought keys. So this will be a beginner's course. So you'll learn how to download and install how thought key the basic concepts and features of the tool, how to create the first script and also how to schedule the automatic execution of Key scripts. So that will be basically it. So let's just get started by getting basic understanding and then download and install Key on our machines right away. So, Key it's a powerful scripting language for Windows, it's free, it's open source and it allows users uh, to automate repetitive tasks, uh, create custom keyboard shortcuts, and basically uh, create from small to complex scripts for all kinds of tasks, such as form fillers, auto clicking, macros, and much more. So, to download Hothot Key, you just have to go to hothotkey.com and will appear this page. And now to download it, we just have to press here on the download button. So now we have to choose the version to download. So let's download the most recent stable version, which is the V2. However, when you are watching this tutorial, there might exist a newer stable version. So if there appears a more recent one, yeah, just download. Uh, the most recent one or even you can just download the v2 as we will do here on this tutorial so let's press here on the download v2 so download was already finished because uh, the installer it's uh, really small uh, so now let's execute the installer so now here we can choose where we want to install how thought key so i'll just leave as it is by default and then installation mode, we can choose to install for all users on our machine or just the current user from the session that we are in. So I'll just leave all users and now let's press install. And now uh, it might appear a Windows a warning pop-up asking if you want to allow this app uh, from unknown publisher to make changes to your device. So here, let's just accept by clicking on yes. So, after installing Key successfully, appears Key Dash, which is a simple app that provides some tools to help us with our Key scripts. So, now let's learn how to create and run an Key script, and it will be a very simple one that will show a message box, but then right after we'll learn some concepts and features of Key, like how to set up Key to run the program, and much more. So to create a script on Nautot Key, we have at least three options. So we can create a script from the dash by clicking on new script, and then it shows up this window where we have to define the script name where we want to store it and just click on edit. And then it opens the notepad where we can write our scripts. The other option, so if we go here to the desktop and do a right click, and now over the new option, here we can see the option to create a how thought key script and if you click here uh, it appears exactly the same window that we have seen before and the other way is to open the notepad write our script and then when we want to save define the file extension as dot key which is uh, the extension of the how thought key scripts so we'll use this last option for our first script and so our first script will open a message box. And so on Nothot key to open the message box, we have to use uh, the command msg box. And now we have to open double quotes and pass the here the string, the text that we want to show on the message box. So here let's enter hello roll. And that's it basically. So now let's save our script. So let's uh, Click on save as or do control s now uh, we just have to choose where we want to store the file now here let's define the file name so i'll define first script 
And now here, uh, let's uh, save as type help files. So let's select help files. And now here, let's add extension dot a h key. So this is very important because it needs to be this extension to be a valid all thought key script. So now let's press save. And now if we take a look where we save the script, here we can see our how thought key script and to run it, it's very simple. We just have to do a double click. And here we can see the tower script was executed. And here we can see the hello world message. So now if we press OK, the script hands its execution. And now if we do a double click again on the script, it will execute again. And that was it for our first script. So now let's learn how we can create a script that is triggered by an out key. And so uh, to be clear, out key is a key or a key combination that triggers an action. So we will set up a script that will open the Edge browser when we perform a certain out key on our keyboard. So let's create a new script now from the author key dash. So let's press new script. So let's define where we want to save the script and the script name. So I want to save it on the desktop and the script name. Let's define it so it can be run MS Edge. And let's press save. So now let's press edit. So first on our script, we have to define dot key that will trigger it. So dot key that we'll use for this script will be Windows and C keys. So this combination of keys. So to define that on our script, first let's have the hashtag and then C and then double column. So what that means? So hashtag it's uh, the Windows key and here the C for the C key. And so right after the double column, we have to uh, set, define what is the action that the script should perform when this odd key is executed. So the action will be to open the Edge browser. So to open application, we'll use the run command. And then just give a white space, open double quotes, and inside the double quotes, we have to enter the name of the process that is related to the application. So in the case of Edge browser, it's MS Edge. For Chrome, it's Chrome. Uh, for Notepad, for example, it's uh, Notepad, like this. So here, let's enter MS Edge. Uh, let's save. So now that we have saved the script, let's run it. So to run the script, it's just by doing double click on the script file. So because this is a script that will be triggered by out key, it's always running. So it's listening and waiting for the out key that will trigger uh, the action that will be to open the browser. So if we go here, we can see an out out key icon. And if we hover it, we can see here the name of the script that we have created right now. So that means that the script is running and waiting for the odd key to be performed. So let's do here a Windows C odd key. And here we can see that it automatically opened the Edge browser. And if we do it again, it opens another instance of the browser. And if we do it again, it opens again. So we can see that uh, the script is working properly. So always opening uh, Edge browser instance whenever we perform the Windows C out key. So now let's edit our script uh, to open uh, the browser on google.com. So it will open the browser with the tab opened on google.com. So here we just have to replace MS Edge by the URL to the google.com page. So let's enter it, .google.com. And so uh, by this way, the script will open the default browser defined on Windows with the tab opened on google.com page. So let's see if it's working. So first we have to save the script. However, now if we perform the odd key, we can see that the script is running exactly as before. So like it's not taking account the change that we have done on the script and why this is happening. Because when we have edited the script, 
it was already running and so we have saved it but uh, the changes were not taken in account so to be taken into account the changes we have either to stop the script and rerun it and now we can do it so to stop the script we just go here to the icon that represents the script right click and press exit and we run it we just do a double click on the file or we have another option that is to reload the script so let's use this one so script was reloaded and now if we perform the alt key here we can see that was open the edge browser on google.com so if we close again and do dot key again here we can see that was open again so it's working fine so now let's create a script that will do text completion text expansion so for example many times we write abbreviations for certain words like btw which means by the way asap which means as soon as possible so let's learn how we can create a script that whenever we write these abbreviations it will replace uh, by the word that it means so for example for btw so uh, let's just open here a new file notepad and then let's enter double column and then btw and then double column again and now we have to enter the text that should replace the btw so let's enter here by the way and so on this script whenever we enter btw and we do right after an enter space or tab will be replaced the btw by by the way so let's test that so we have to save the file so let's do control s now let's define the script name text completion for example and now very important uh, let's add here all files and add extension dot ah key and let's press save and now uh, let's here run our script file test completion and now we can see here that the script is running so whenever we enter btw now and uh, press then enter tab or space it should replace the btw by uh, by the way so let's open wordpad and enter btw so we can see that nothing happens however if we press white space we can see that was replaced by by the way if we press enter it replaces also by the way and if we uh, do a tab it also replaces the btw by by the way and we can try this on Chrome. So if you open Chrome and enter BTW and now white space, so it replaces us in the same way. So now on the script, we can add more uh, abbreviations to be replaced. So let's open it on Notepad. And now uh, let's just do an enter. And now let's enter the one for ASAP. So Let's enter here ASAP and now what should replace this abbreviation so as soon as possible. Let's save and now uh, because the script is already running we have to reload it so re let's reload the script to take into account the changes and now if we go here and enter ASAP and then do an enter we can see was replaced by as soon as possible. So uh, we can see that we have learned also about how we, we can implement a custom text completion with HowThoughtKey. So now that we learned a bit about scripting on HowThoughtKey, let's learn how we can set uh, the scripts to automatically start whenever we turn on our computer and log in in our Windows session. Because we have here now here the scripts running. However, if we turn off the machine and turn on it again, they will not be running automatically and so in order to the script to run again we have to double click here on the files so we'll learn now how we can avoid this manual task so first uh, we'll compile uh, the scripts to executables so we'll compile the run a message and test completion one because yeah this one first script just shows a message box so um, to compile a script to executable uh, here uh, we can see on the out.key dash uh, the compile uh, option so if we click here on compile and now we have to choose the file that we want to be compiled so I will choose here uh, the run msh 
And here we can see that the file was compiled to an executable. So here we can see it as an executable. And now let's do the same for the test completion one. So let's select it and press convert. And so here we have the two executables. So now let's access the auto start folder and to access it easily, let's press Windows R and now let's enter shell, shell and then add a colon and then after the colon, common startup. And let's press enter. So we can see here the started folder. So now to here, we'll drag shortcuts of these two executables. So let's create a shortcut uh, for each executable. So we do a right click. And now uh, let's go to show more options. And now let's press create shortcut. And let's drag to here. And now here, uh, let's press continue. And now the same for the other executable. So we go to show more options, create shortcut, and let's move it here to the startup folder. And from now, we don't need any more to double click on the script files to start them because whenever you turn on your machine and log in on your Windows session, uh, these shortcuts will be executed and will basically execute uh, the scripts and they will uh, be running automatically. And that was it for this tutorial, uh, for this beginner's course. And if you liked it, please give a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel and enable notifications as well so you don't miss any tutorial released here on the channel.